All right. Here, um, I'm pulling together a quick video on how to configure the Track Addict uh, application. In this case, I'm using the version 4.3.4 Pro for iOS. Um, I was on the track this past weekend and uh, I was having issues uh, pulling in some of the data points from the OBD reader, such as uh, oil and coolant temperature. So didn't have a lot of time on the track to figure it out, but I finally did now. So. I wanted to show you how to do that um, if you're experiencing similar issues. So first of all, after you start your car, um, you need to make sure that uh, your OBD uh, is connected. And that's in the lower right hand corner. It's saying not connected. It should turn yellow soon. There it is to connecting and then green to connect it. When it's connected, you can go ahead and uh, click on the OBD connected text and, the, and then the click on the data channels and codes. It's gonna take you to the menu that's going to show all the val uh, uh, different variables that you can track and uh, pull into uh, Track Addict. In the current version of Track Addict, um, I only see a way to pull in three different variables so I have chosen the engine coolant temperature and you do that by clicking on it and then toward the bottom there is an engine oil temperature again you pull it in by clicking on it and uh, it gets highlighted in gray and the intake air temperature um, once that is done you can come back out and um, click on the camera icon it's the second from the left on the bottom and in here, you will be able to configure uh, the three different uh, data points on the left-hand side. Uh, it's right below the, the camera setting. Uh, so in this case, you can click on any of the three boxes that right now say IATF, ECTF, and OILF. So I'm gonna click on the IATF. It's gonna take me to the setup menu, and you're gonna see that it has uh, data point A, B, and C. I am for the time being, I'm ignoring the timer and map settings um, as I want to show the map and I want to have that predictable timer uh, option in here. So, um, how you configure the data points is you click on the black, I'm sorry, on the blue banner uh, for each of the three data points A, B, and C one at a time. So, I'm going to do this for data A. I'm gonna click on the, I just clicked on the intake air temperature and it's gonna show you all the data channels that it can display um, based on what I've selected and based off other features that are already built into the application such as the roll and accelerometer. Uh, in this case, I wanna pull in the intake air temperature. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna bring that in engine coolant temperature i'm gonna click that and uh, i'm just gonna uh, show you how to do that if you are overriding another value so i'm gonna choose the actually engine oil temperature in this case and i'm gonna get this warning or this message i want to click yes uh, if you click yes it's gonna update the text in the white box so it's gonna update what's currently in there which is the uh, ECTF into probably oil F. So I'm going to click yes. And it did make that change. And then here in data point C, see where it is saying oil F right now. So I'm going to uh, click on the blue banner right above it, engine oil temperature, scroll down and I want to bring the engine coolant temperature. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say yes. So it will now have uh, the values of the, the IAT values, oil and coolant temperatures set up. And when I click the back uh, arrow, it's gonna show those values on the screen. Uh, you can obviously uh, select any three values that you would like. Um, I don't think that there is a way to add additional uh, values onto the screen, but I will do more research on that and post those updates if I do find them. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments on this.